Hi, JNM here with a new Blender modeling video for beginners in which we are going to create a simple star model. We start with an empty scene, so I select and remove the camera and the cube. We snap the view to top auto graphic and then I press Shift and A to add a new mesh. And for creating a star, I will use a circle. Okay, then I will open here the panel for this mesh and set the vertices to 10. After that, I change to edit mode and then use vertex selection here in the toolbar. All right, now I select every second vertex. Just click on it and hold the shift key pressed. And then I press S to scale down the vertices with the view snapped. And then you see the shape of a star is forming, but I hold the control key pressed to snap while I scale. And this is the shape of the star that we end up with. But I want to create two meshes, one that is filled and one with a border. So I select all the vertices and press G followed by X to move it to the left. So this will be the first one, then I press Shift and D to duplicate it. And then press X and move it to the right. And to turn the second one into a separate object, I press P and choose Selection. Okay, now we have two objects, two stars. So I select the first one, go to edit mode again, I press A to select the vertices and then F to fill and then I press E to extrude out the star shape. Okay, now I snap to front autographic, press G followed by Z so that we can increase the height while snapping to the grid and the first object is completed. Alright, now I select the second one, again change to edit mode Press A again to select the vertices and press E followed by Z to extrude to the upside. I snap again to the grid by holding the control key pressed so that the second star has the same height as the first one. Now I want to make the border a bit thicker, so I open the modifiers panel and choose solidify. First I check even thickness and then I decrease the property thickness to the inside. Ok, and that's it for creating the stars. Now you can change the matcap if you like for a different look and feel. Or you set the viewport shading to material preview. Okay, that was a short one, but I really hope you like it. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, add these to the comments below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Support me by becoming my patron or join here as a channel member. And I'll see you guys in the next one here on JNM.